Ask six-year-old Luther DeRoche what he wants for Christmas, and the answer, well, it's simple. Bearded dragon. Sure, everybody wants a bearded dragon for Christmas, but for Luther and his 12-year-old sister Catherine, this Christmas almost didn't happen at all. The two were on a bicycle in Beauchene earlier this month when authorities say they were struck by an SUV and the driver did not stop. So he flew back and we think he hit a tree or something with his head when he flew back and then I flew forward over the handlebars. And, and when I walked in the hospital, I don't know what I was expecting, but he was just covered from head to toe in tubes. In fact, both of the children were hospitalized. Catherine at Lakeview Regional, Luther airlifted to University Medical Center and then on to Children's Hospital with an apparent brain bleed and a badly broken wrist. Catherine has been home for a while, but still walks with the aid of a crutch. But guess who just got out of the hospital? Home, just in time for Christmas. We called Santa and said, you better have to put the, the elves on overtime because for two weeks, uh, well, I had told Santa, you know, we might have to do this in January or February. <laughs> to have him home and uh, the fact that he's home at Christmas. Um, but I was ready. I told the neighbors, I said, this may be up here till November. <laughs> I said, because, you know, Christmas is not happening without him. More blessed to give than to receive? Yes, indeed. The DeRoches are a family of four adopted children, so they know a lot about love and giving and home. And wow, do they decorate for Christmas. It's something special here for friends and neighbors, all part of this extended family. Just the thought of not sure if we were ever gonna see Luther again or how, how well she was gonna recover and how, you know, having our best friends and buds back home is, is a blessing for this Christmas. They touch so many people's lives and, and I don't think they even realize how, you know, how, how many people they have touched by this. It is joyful and triumphant. It really is a wonderful life. And if you listen real closely, you can hear Tiny Tim saying, God blesses everyone. Heath Allen, WDSU News.